you love the content on my channel, please consider checking out my Patreon link down below. It would really help out my channel. Hey you guys, it's Coffee, and today we are back playing The Sims 4 with something a little bit different. Uh, I'm actually going to show you my current household. I haven't played The Sims just for fun in quite some time, probably since the last current household that I did, which I couldn't even tell you when the last time that was. It Maybe it was more recent than I think, but to me, it's been quite a while. And I actually got the idea for this current household from a challenge that I found on Mod The Sims. I will try to find that challenge down below. I'll link it down below is what I meant. Sorry. It's like 3.30 in the morning and I am tired AF. But um, basically... My idea, I didn't follow the challenge rules like at all. <laughs> so this is not like a challenged based current household. I mean, it's challenging for me and I'll explain why. But basically my idea, because I'm such a storyteller at heart, even though I maybe don't share that enough in a lot of my LPs, I really do like to tell stories when I play The Sims and that's when I get the most passionate about the game. But Basically, my idea for this couple that you see, um, the male sim's name is Elias, and I'm not going to lie, the name Elias came from ancient, the Ancient Mage's Bride, which is an anime that I have been obsessed with lately that I just like caught up on, and the girl's name is... What the heck is her name? I know her last name's Heart. I can't remember what I named her, but like her name, less important, I guess. I was, I got way more into creating him for some reason. But um, basically their story is they're both teenagers. I don't know if you guys can actually tell. They are both teenagers and they live in this house, which I'll show you in a second. Basically their story is, is obviously she's an angel and he's a demon. <laughs> And I'm all about that, like, star-crossed lovers, they're not supposed to be together, it's so forbidden. But basically what had happened was, is at the romance festival, which their kind, the angels and demons, only come together once a year. And it's during the romance festival, and they are, like, born and bred their entire lives to know that... They do not, like, conspire with one another. They do not, like, it's okay to have a fling, but, like, nothing serious. No marriage, no kids, none of that. And they do come together one day a year at the romance festival just to kind of party it up and, you know, have a good time. Technically, the demons have a little bit of power over the angels, but, like, that's them kind of flexing that to their will is bringing these angels kind of to their will uh, the one day a year that they can. And, you know, they drink the punch, they romance them. Um, I didn't really get too detailed on that part of the story because that was not as important as what I'm about to say. But basically, Elias didn't really like his demon form, I guess you could say. He didn't really want to be a demon. So he kind of went like he went to this thing even though he really didn't want to and it was like oh whatever do I have to like it was he didn't really even want to like take part in any of it I'm going to turn this music down if you guys don't mind because it is oh, way too loud but um he didn't really want to take part in any of it but he went anyways because his parents kind of demanded that of him they were like nope you have to go participate it's who we are like you have to oh look the romance festival is going on right now interesting but basically they were like hey you know you have to go to this we don't care what you think um it's like your duty as a demon you have to go and do this come to this party like we don't care what you do while you're there but you have to come to the festival so he he goes and he catches the eye of Samantha Hart. I could not remember what her name was. He catches the eye of Samantha and without using any of his powers or abilities, they drink some of the romantic punch and you know, like I said, they're not supposed to have children together or it's not supposed to be anything serious. The party is all for fun and they kind of click in a different way and they have this real romantic aura about them I mean it could have been the romantic wine a little bit too but you know they had this connection and they did actually woohoo and what happened was is Samantha actually got pregnant and both of their families were so livid uh, they basically cast them both to earth and were like nope you now you're a fallen angel and basically he has become like an earthling stripped of all of their powers sent to earth with nothing 
and they're just expected to basically raise their baby, still go to school because they're teenagers and they can't have jobs. Like that's kind of what I told myself was that they couldn't have jobs. I wanted this to be kind of almost legacy based in a way, but not play it like a legacy. Like I don't want to have 10 generations, but they cannot have jobs. So I have them gardening. Samantha has become a really great gardener. She's not perfect, but she's getting there. Um, and Elias has taken to painting and they just had their son, um, who I actually looked up like archangel names and like fallen angel names because I was curious and they had their son and I named him Vine. I actually really wanted them to have a girl and I was kind of sad. Like I'm trying to play this as best as I can without cheats because I feel like cheats when you play the Sims, when you're just playing on your own, having cheats makes the game less fun for me. So even though like, obviously I have like a mod in the game for teen pregnancy and stuff like that, but, um, I named him Vine. It was based off of a fallen angel name that I found online. And I thought if they ever had a girl, maybe I would name her Ivy so they could be Ivy and Vine. I thought that would be really cute. But, um, anyways, this is the house that I have built for them. I started them with, I believe five thousand simoleons and or maybe it was more like seven I know it wasn't like they had to buy the land so like it was after that then I took a bunch of their money away and I've just been kind of building off of this they started pretty well like normal legacy I feel like is a lot harder and like I said this is not a legacy but like kind of same basic principles there uh I feel like normal legacy challenges, you literally start with nothing. So I felt like we actually made out kind of well with what we had. I didn't have Elias painting initially. He was just like digging these things up, which I'm going to go have him do. Oh, wait, no, that's her. No, no, no. Don't go do that. Um, I'm going to have him come and do that right now. He's actually sick. Uh, I'm not sure how that happened, but it sure did. You know, now they're both like human. She still has her wings, but she can't do anything. And same with him. He still has his horns. So it's like... I like to pretend that people outside of their home can't see that on them. Like it becomes invisible, but so like they kind of have to keep up this facade as well. And anyways, they, I feel like they started with a little bit more, which was good. Um, I think it made it more, it was like easier for me to play, put it that way. And it has been hard. Like this series is not easy. Um, especially now that they have a baby. So the current thing I'm trying to do is build their little shack, basically. So they have this crappy bed, crappy kitchen, tiny table set up, uh, this easel for Elias, a bookshelf for some kind of entertainment. Honestly, whenever they're down on fun, I just have them woohoo. I'm not even joking. Um, and then I built them this crappy bathroom <laughs> and that's just where we're at right now. So I'm trying to have them gain money to add a room for baby vine and, you know, just kind of build up their empire sort of the way that a legacy works. So I haven't decided where the story is going to go. Like, I don't know if I'm ever going to bring their families into it because I started the series just playing the two of them. That was just my idea of like how they came to be, I guess you could say. But I don't know. I, I thought, I don't know. I just, I just like it. And the, like, even their relationship, what is this? A treasure map? What the heck? That's interesting. Okay. Um, even like their relationship, they do not have a super, like their relationship is high, but like, she's not even his girlfriend. Like they do not have the sort of relationship where like they got married immediately. And that was a big part of why their families chose to cast them out was they didn't want to just like get married. And like, even then, like they weren't allowed to, so it wouldn't have mattered. But like her family, I think was willing to be a little bit more like sensitive on her. And like, if he was willing to become an angel, they maybe would have let it happen. But both of them didn't really want that. They didn't want to just get married for the sake of getting married. And so, yeah they even though they do love each other their relationship definitely is not without trouble like think about the most stressful situation and then also trying to nurture a relationship so their relationship is good but it's not like amazing also is Vlad broken because this man visits their house every day and we don't want none of what you're selling daddy Vlad get out like, I don't understand this. It's ridiculous. Go away. We need to start planting some garlic because he actually came and bit Elias the other day. But yeah, that's 
basically my current household and I just kind of wanted to share it because I think I'm going to continue to play with them and hopefully if we do like I want to update you guys on them again at some point hopefully I'll have more to update you on um this is one of those things that I always say like I don't want it to be a series and I don't even want to say that because I feel like every time I say it it ends up becoming a series every single time so um I'm not saying never but uh, at this point, like, I think it's nice just to have a game that I'm really invested in that's not a series necessarily on my channel. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed my little storytelling, I guess. I don't know. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Actually, before we go, sorry, totally forgot. I wanted to actually go over their traits with you guys really quick. So interestingly enough, I think the reason it was easy for Elias to like want to be with her was his aspiration in life is soulmate. So that'll be really interesting to see how that goes. And I think another thing during the festival, like he, that's like another thing is like, you're supposed to keep that in check as demons. Like you're not supposed to like fall in love with these angels and stuff. And like, they have like, especially being a romantic demon, like that was his downfall and why she got pregnant was, it was very easy for him to let that guard down. And like, I basically want to say that in my belief for their story, because he like had so many feelings for her that like basically increased their odds of becoming pregnant. Does that make sense? So anyways, um, that was it. That's his aspiration. And that's something I will work on eventually in the series, but again, still a teenager where, Oh, he's evil and creative. I felt like evil was important because he's a demon, you know, he should be evil. <laughs> and then she is a snob and creative and she has the collector, because she's a freelance botanist or that's what she wants to do. And he has alluring and apparently rebellious because he's going through a phase. She was going through a weird phase earlier too. Wait, how many days? Oh my God. 12 more days as a teenager. We might age them up early because that's a little ridiculous. I don't know if I can handle 12 more days of school in this series with them having a baby and trying to make money. Like, I just don't know if that's going to be possible. But also, this is the boring outside of the house. Um, not really too much to show for it. But I hope you guys like this. I'm honestly having so much fun. I've been playing this file. I started it around like maybe 11 30 tonight and it's almost four o'clock in the morning and I've just been sitting playing them and I was like I need to do a video on this because I think people would be interested in hearing and maybe I'm wrong and this is the dumbest thing ever but I hope you guys liked it and uh, I'll see you guys again real soon thank you so very much for watching please don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter I'm at coffee YT all my links are down below and a big huge special thank you to my patrons over on patreon you guys light up my life I appreciate you I love you Never get up, never get up